Hey guys, once again welcome to scenario based network engineer interview question and answer series. Guys, question for today is this. And this is my scenario. As you can see in my scenario there is one router connected with two different ISPs as well as LAN device, right? Maybe LAN switch. And question is and one more thing between edge router and isp we are running bgp protocol to advertise prefixes and to receive prefixes for an example here i have one server in the network in lan side right and outside user may be from the remote side right or from the internet users are accessing this server accessing this server right and how this server is reachable from outside with the help of bgp protocol so this router is advertising route internal route through bgp to both isp isp1 and isp2 now question is you notice that most traffic is entering via isp2 you notice that whenever outside users are accessing your server forwarding traffic for your lan traffic is coming from isp2 right means traffic is entering via isp2 but you want to prefer isp1 but you want to prefer isp1 you want to receive traffic through isp1 what configuration changes would you make here right so this is the question if you know the co answer please let me know your answer in the comment section but in case if you don't know the answer then watch this video till the end first of all guys here we are we need to influence bgp routes right and to influence bgp route for path manipulation in bgp we have attributes bgp attributes so here definitely will play with bgp attributes but which attribute i will use that depends which type of traffic you are going to influence inbound traffic or outbound traffic so you can see it's clearly mentioned here traffic entering via isp1 means it is talking about inbound traffic the traffic which is coming from inside to outside means it is talking about which type of route if traffic is inbound that means route is outbound means the route is going from inside to outside like for example this server is in this submit 10.1.1.0/24 so lan device will advertise it to router and router is going to advertise it to both isp then only isp can forward traffic to this subnet right so route is going like this from router to isp and traffic is coming from isp to router right so for inbound traffic we are going to configure attribute we are going to manipulate path by using bgp attributes for which type of traffic for inbound traffic for the traffic which is coming right if i will talk about the route so route is outbound right means like for inbound for influencing inbound traffic generally we are using two attributes as prepend and mad right so in which direction you will apply as prepend in out direction not in the in direction most of the people are saying in the in direction because this is inbound traffic this is for inbound traffic right so like uh, most of the people are saying if we are influencing inbound traffic then i will apply route map in in direction but this is wrong right for influencing inbound traffic we are going to apply route map in out direction right here i can say i can tell to router that brother whenever you will advertise this lan submit to isp2 just do one thing just add some more es number 100 200 or multiple times 100 only right 100 and 100 for an example two times right so now automatically isp1 will become best right you will start receiving traffic via isp1 then right because here router is advertising same prefix to isp2 with higher es path right here we'll have higher path okay so this is going to be in odd direction like whenever it will advertise route to isp2 it is going to prepend the es or we can use metric now question is 
how will apply it now they can ask you how you will configure it what configuration change would you make right so configuration if i will talk about the configuration so for an example here my es number is 65000 right so i am going to run this command router bgp 65000 then i will say neighbor right let's say here subnet is 2.2.2.2 2.0/30 right and here dot 2 here dot 1 here submit 1.1.1.0/30 dot 1 dot 2 right so neighbor 2.2.2.2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 means isp2 and route map route map and name of route map let's say es path is the name of my route map and direction out this command we need to apply on router and then we can create the route map route map and es path right then we can um, define the action permit then we can assign the sequence somewhere and here we can say set es prepend 100 Hundred and hundred like this, this way. Okay, so this command will work in your scenario to influence inbound traffic, or you can use MAD value, right? In the same route map, like we can say change name of route map MAD, and here we can say set metric, set metric, and we can set higher metric here. Again, with the neighbor command, I am going to call this route map in. or direction only direction is very important here most of the time people are not clear with the direction so for in bond traffic we are going to apply es path prepend or mad attribute in out direction right to prefer isp1 now in the same way if the question is let's say when lan user is forwarding traffic to out side right then traffic is going via isp1 or isp2 but i want to prefer isp1 so this time you can see it is talking about outbound traffic means traffic which is going from router to outside so for the outbound let me know which attribute you will use to manipulate the path in comment section that's all for today soon we'll meet in the another video with uh, another scenario that's all for today if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you are new on the channel if you have not subscribe this channel till now then please subscribe this channel and uh, if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section that's all for today thank you thank you so much for watching